This was the absolute worst set I have ever built. Actually, I couldn't even finish it. I would not recommend anyone to buy this set. If I could give it a zero, I would. This feels like a healthy response. According to these reviews on lego.com, the Star Wars fans believe that their theme is broken, but I think I can fix it by building the perfect Lego set. And at the end of this video, to test my idea, I'm gonna present my build to someone that can make it real. In order to repair the theme, I need to know what is the number one problem with Lego Star Wars? Well, th th first thing That's right, the lack of Yoda representation. I have a two-step solution to rectify this problem. In order to make the perfect set that will please all of the fans, we need to have a character Lego hasn't made before, like Force Ghost Yoda. But obviously, just having one minifigure won't be enough to save the sinking ship. However, having multiple of the same character in one set causes an issue that I can fix with step two. We purposefully put it in something that's inherently fatuous, like, say, an advent calendar, or 24 mini sets, like Yoda's Hut, that all come together to make the perfect Lego set. This way it ought to be just silly enough not to trigger anybody saying something like, this is just not true, there aren't two Yodas. No, honestly, I don't know how anybody wouldn't be 100% satisfied with this. I only have 22 spots left with this Yoda Advent. I want to make a strong impression for the first day by using a minifigure, and what better character to do for a Yoda Advent than Yaddle? The, the female Yoda that's in one movie for less than 30 seconds, never says anything, then dies. Okay, look, LEGO has made over a thousand unique Star Wars minifigures, and there's not a lot left to work with, but being a new and unique character would make a huge impact. The first batch of prototype builds will be based on the Jedi Temple from the prequel trilogy, a place that's never really been represented in LEGO. Both Yoda and Yaddle can use this Jedi Council chamber chair I found and rebuilt from this LEGO book. Because the short legs aren't posable, it would also come with the same style replacement parts used in this Lord of the Rings set so they can sit down. It also gives them a little something extra to handle. The same sitting legs would also work on this next build from the Attack of the Clones movie. It's a hover chair Yoda uses in one scene so he's at the same eye level as normal people. We've even seen it before in an old video game, but not physically. Next is the Grandmaster's quarters, or Yoda's bedroom, featuring a meditation pad, table, a hollow projector that would ideally have this Jedi piece, and a rug with the Grandmaster symbol. The one I'm using is just a sticker. I would want it to be printed on a slightly larger tile. I need to add a few different figures throughout the set, and I think this goofy thing will be perfect. Not only would we get a new hood headpiece, but also for the first time, he's wearing a cape. And I know the two ear holes will never not look ridiculous. This force sensitive tree is featured multiple times on the Clone Wars TV show on the Temple Grounds, and a miniature one is the only way I could ever see it being made in Lego. The holocron chamber was the only time Lego has ever made anything from the Jedi Temple, and you couldn't even buy it. I have no clue who thought it was a good idea to send the only Jedi Temple set to just press members. I mean, I, I basically had to reverse engineer this one right here, but in the Perfect Lego set. A portion of the holocron chamber would be available to everyone. And on the following day, it would be accompanied by a never before produced holocron droid seen all over in the shows. In a real set, the dish would also be printed to match. Lego hosted a building event using this design in the marketing, but ended up passing out a completely different build. It's a neat droid, but just a weird move. Time for another minifigure, and surprise, it's another Yoda. Shocker. I want to base this one off of the 2003 miniseries. There's just one little problem. There's nothing out there to really represent what I want for my presentation. And as you might have noticed so far, I am not that great at designing minifigures at all. Um, but I, I want more than just... And for day 11, we have this image of a JPEG. Yeah, I'm kind of desperate here and need some help. Fortunately, somehow, Holly's schedule was wide open. I don't know how that works. And to make it more interesting, I asked her to compete against me in designing a torso. We both only have 10 minutes, and once the timer's up, it's up. It, it should go, it should go well. Starting in three, two, one, go. Oh, no. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know when you're trying to do art and you try to make it too good and then, like, it messes up. No, not really. I should actually probably start doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gone about things in the wrong order. I'm still just moving around my reference images. <laughs> I haven't even <laughs> started. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. How do I do? Where is the tool that makes curved lines? It's a pen. It looks like a pen. I have the pen. What is it called? What is it called? It I is can the use pen the help. Tool. Is it the pen? It's oh, no, the I'm pen, using the pencil. Gotta, That's the issue. I'm using the pencil. Here's the pen. I've, I've just been going up and down looking for everything. I'm suddenly feeling like I'm in a really good position now. <laughs> oh, pen! Oh, there's shapes. How much time do we have left? Oh, we only have three minutes left. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, I can do this. No, I, I have do not this. done anything. I, have... <laughs> I am almost done. How are you almost done? <laughs> no! No, it's over! No, it's is down. it? Oh. Holly, would you like to look at mine first? Uh not very good. Um <laughs> That's uh, a little I don't know. It looks like you've drew Yoda cleavage upside down. Let's look at yours. Yeah. 
Okay, so yours looks a little bit better. If you combine yours and mine, we have a mini figure. So if we take I... my torso <laughs> without anything on it and put your design on it, we have a mini figure. Yeah, like really closely. To go with our hack job graphic design of the O3 Yoda, the Kai Buck from that same shop would look great. This one being slightly too large and slightly revamped slash stolen version of Brick Sheppa's design. It's slightly too fragile, but it looks great with both legs. Every Star Wars Advent Calendar has miniature ships, so for my first one I'll do the Wookiee escape pod that Yoda uses in Revenge of the Sith to help escape Order 66. Yoda does use it, so it kind of makes it, it's kind of, it's kind of Yoda themed. Uh, the next figure is a bit of an obscure pick from the Clone Wars show. It's the manifestation of Yoda's dark side. For a quick mock-up, I used the Lord of the Rings Sauron's torso and a poorly made darkened black head. It's still just another Yoda variant, but it's by far the most unique one out there. I know Yoda's Jedi Starfighter has already been made three times, but I think I can make one stick out even from the other mini build. This one is not only much smaller and better looking, but it also comes with a hyperdrive ring, which has barely even been done in real sets. The last of the prequel trilogy sets is the E3 lifeboat Yoda flies in a deleted scene to his new home Dagobah, bringing us into the original trilogy. That same escape pod is later used in the construction of his new abode, this one being much closer to the average size of an Advent set. I know that one of the builds from earlier was also Yoda's hut, and I do have an explanation for this. In some random one-off book, it's mentioned that he has two huts. The one we see in the films, located in the lowlands and second in the highlands that's used during the wet season that has never been seen or mentioned anywhere else ever it's somehow less relevant than yaddle to have something from inside the hut i added a storage rack with a few of yoda's personal effects his walking stick is hanging right next to a book which is the same jedi text found from the recent holiday set the pot is a reference to the original action figure and it's the same one given to him by obi-wan i have his lightsaber hidden in the back because after the fall of the jedi order for a few reasons he never used it again and that's why there's a bow and arrow here just the image of a little green dude running around a swamp 360 no scoping his lunch is one i never <laughs> imagined seeing i'm so grateful it's real it's stupid, but it's 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 real. While not on the hunt, Yoda spends time tending to his garden. What's he growing there? I don't know. But he has a carrot in the official set, so he gets one here, uh, along with some extra critters. Think of the garden like the super popular flower builds. It's here to please every single fan, including all those uh, TikTok gr girlies. Uh, the Force is female. We have a little bit more evidence that Yoda was heavily into farming from the complete saga video game. And by evidence, I mean he was industrializing Dagobah with a tractor trailer tag team. Split between two days, this makes for one of my favorite and objectively most nostalgic builds of the set. If there is one more creature that will be scurrying around him, a much larger dragon snake is our next entry. Okay, so it's not very accurate and it doesn't look good. But I, I do have an excuse. I took the design from a Star Wars book, making it officially Lego's fault that this looks more like an overcooked mud noodle than a dragon. Almost every Star Wars advent calendar ends with an exclusive Christmas version of a popular character. The obvious choice of Yoda as Santa has already been done, and I thought of some other options like Snowman or Life Day Yoda, but continuing the trend of putting him in an ugly sweater next to a Christmassy build, like his toy shop from the Candy Cane X-Wing, feels like it makes the most sense. There are a few design options that would work really well for the ugly sweater, like the Republic Cog or the Jedi Order logo, but those could also also fit on some other figures that could be done in the future, so I think the one that would be the most fitting is the same pattern that was on the rug from earlier. And with that last figure, the Yoda Evans done. My set is complete. And if you ask me if this isn't made, then LEGO cannot make it more obvious that they just do not like making money. I just wrapped up the PowerPoint for my presentation and the only thing left to do is pitch it to someone that can make it real. And who better, other than someone that actually works for the company, than him in our productions. And not just because he was dumb enough to give me his phone number. Lego even said it. He's the reason why the set was made, and it's quite easy to see how successful it's been. If I can get him on board, you can actually buy the set. So I have to go give it to him now. Welcome to my presentation on how to fix Lego Star Wars. To be honest, the presentation started, how do we fix our issue with Lego Star Wars? With the perfect... Oh, I thought you were going to kill Thanks. Baby Yoda. What? We were going in different directions, clearly. A little rough. I couldn't really get a read on him. At some points, he liked my ideas. Yes. Oh, oh we're my God, back yes. The complete oh, saga track. Yes. Who'd you pay to build this? I built it. I don't believe it. Which means you like it. <laughs> yeah. I have samples. Oh, beautiful. And at others, he could not be less interested. What is the perfect Lego set in my mind? I would say it's an advent calendar. It's perfect for one month of the year. In both tan and brown. Are you Sharpie those two? Is way too big. I don't like the color. Do a Fragic. smaller version of it though, perhaps? Maybe in the future. I with wouldn't the right go frame. smaller, I would just go better. These were abolished in the mid 2010s. Why are you including it in your perfect set? So why isn't it blue? Because I don't have the dark blue one. This you is... have Sharpie. 
I'm not sharpening stuff. You mean the lazier option? It felt like I was starting to lose. Hey, I put it on my leg. You don't okay. put it on my leg. Do you not want me to touch your leg? So I tried everything I could. I Bribery. Because I don't have one. There might be goodie bags at the end. Okay, cool. Flattery. Uh, that picture is outdated. Good for you. you I lost, lost some weight. weight. That's that's pretty cool. Look at you. Two cars. Two cars. Reverse psychology. You like me. That you would support me. And just some straight up lying. Sex appeal. You're pretty cool. You're a cool guy. But I think, no, I feel like he might go for it. That he'll help make the perfect Lego set happen. So what do you think? You want to support my campaign? No. Well, why not? It took me two weeks to make this video.